Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you beautiful purple roses that I'm adding to my garden. Um, these are all Cordes roses and I actually uh, found these at my local nursery that I frequently visit. I had a gift certificate that my daughter gave me for my birthday last year in December and I have been waiting for these uh, to spend it on some roses and they finally got some of these beautiful roses in and I you know I don't know I was just so drawn to purple the color purple over there and I just uh, couldn't resist getting these beauties um, from there and they are just stunning these are Cordes roses and I am in Toronto in zone 6 and I garden um, a lot with perennials and I love roses. I have a lot of roses in my garden and I find them really, really beautiful, really long blooming and, and just in our weather, they do pretty well and they do get some black spot, but uh, you know, they generally are healthy and they do, do okay in this in this climate. And I don't like to spray them uh, with a lot of stuff. Um, I usually just, um, uh, you know, if there is a problem, I will just put some, uh, you know, if there are aphids on it. I saw aphids on them last year for the first time and I did spray some soap water on it and it was fine. And I don't use any chemical insecticides. Uh, I try not to. And um, if I need to use something, I will use something like a neem oil spray, but that's pretty much it. So these are the beautiful roses that I want to share with you. I have two of these beautiful Quicksilver Arborose Climbing Rose and these are so stunning. They have this, I mean, I don't have anything blooming right now, but I have this little picture that came uh, with the card and it's just a beautiful mauve, um, silvery mauve rose with a little bit of a darker purple center. So I'm really excited to add this one. It has a light fragrance and it will bloom seven feet, sorry, grow seven feet tall and spread uh, around four feet. So it's a good manageable size for a garden. It's not gonna get too huge. And I have two of these and I'm actually thinking of planting them in my front garden along my um, uh, metal fence so that it can kind of cover that fence and look pretty and bloom in the summer. And that's, that's why I kind of, as soon as I bought these, I was like, I know where I'm going to plant them because I think that fence will look really good with these roses. Um, just, you know, covering it and it's going to be beautiful with this stunning color and form of rose. Um, the other purple rose that I got is called Ebb Tide. So this is a very intense purple rose. It is... Um, again a shrub rose and it's got a very nice spicy clove uh, perfume and it's going to get four feet tall and three feet wide so it's a nice size shrub and it is a floribunda rose which means that it's going to have multiple uh, buds on one stem and it's going to bloom in a cluster and that's um, that's so exciting to uh, experience this beautiful color in a cluster it's just gorgeous and I can't wait to experience this this dark rose in my garden. I think dark uh, flowers bring a lot of moodiness in the garden and they complement a lot of the other bright and light colors in the garden. So just love them and um, I am excited to add these. And there's one more rose that I want to share, which is not purple, but it's got this really nice creamy white apricot color. And this one is called a Cosmos Fairy Tale Rose. It's also a Cordes Rose. It's got a light fragrance and it's also a shrub rose which gets four feet tall and three feet wide. And I love this color of the rose. I think it's very, very um, dreamy and uh, fairy tale like with this really pretty apricot center and almost creamy white, uh, pure creamy white blooms and again it's a floribunda so it's going to um, uh, bloom in clusters and it's just going to look beautiful so I'm excited to try these new roses in my garden today they are so beautiful they are um, putting out a lot of shoots so I think as soon as I plant them they should get going uh, pretty soon in my garden and I should see some blooms this year although roses are better once they are settled so this year I don't expect too much from them but I 
just want to get them in the ground and see if I can at least experience a few blooms this year um, and more or less just see get them established in the ground so I'm going to get uh, the climbing roses in my front garden for these two roses I think these are going to go in my backyard if I have room in the front I might plant this one alongside these because the colors just look so beautiful together but if i can't then they are going to go in my backyard um so yeah that's the plan let me uh get these planted and i will show you where i'm putting them and um, get them in the ground this is the spot where i am planning to put the roses i will be i have a honeysuckle here which is a gold flame honeysuckle and i'm going to be moving it to this corner here so it can kind of fill this this section and kind of drape over this pole um, and then the roses I'm going to put one in this spot and one potentially just close to it I'm going to put two of them about three feet apart because or even about two feet apart because they will get about four feet uh, spread and I kind of want them to intermingle and cover up this fence so that's what I want them to do and I will be working on this area a little bit I also have some daylilies here which I will be moving more uh, towards the back and center a little bit so I need to do a little bit of work in this area a little bit of weeding and moving some of these daylilies and move up the honeysuckle here and then I think it will be nice to put those roses in there so let me get get to work and I'll show you when I'm all done I'm going to be just basically digging up a large enough hole for the roses and putting them in and uh, really not amending the soil or fertilizing or any of that today so let me get going and I'll show you when I'm done so let me show you I'm done planting the roses and I was actually able to plant all four of them in here um, just because I had daylilies in the front here which I have actually moved towards one side because for me daylilies are really nice filler plants and they kind of spread and do their thing but they only bloom for like a short time about a month um, in the season um, so I think having them on the side is not and not focal points here would probably be better in the long run for this bed what I've done is I've planted the cosmos fairy tale rose right in the front here so that it can kind of bloom for most of the summer once it's established it should bloom and it's going to look really nice with the creamy antique white um, with an apricot hint in it uh, roses and at night it's going to actually add a lot of like brightness in this spot as well so I love that about it and then it's followed by the ebon tide which is going to be the darker one which is um, really really deep purple and then I have my two quicksilver roses uh, arbor roses planted in the back there so they get about seven feet tall so I'm hoping that they get tall and I'm able to gauge the growth habit and then I will train them accordingly so no training is needed in the first two to three years because I really want to see how these are going to grow and from what I've been reading about these that they can be quite vigorous when they start growing so excited to see what they do and because these are planted this year I am not expecting them to bloom you know profusely this year because they, they will spend time to establish their roots I am not add I haven't added any fertilizer I've pretty much just used the native soil that's here and they are now going to spend their time um, establishing their roots this season uh, and if they do get blooms of course I'll enjoy them and I'll of course share with you how they to do along um, as the season goes on and it's going to be really really exciting and in the middle there I planted a pink champagne clematis this one I started from bare root not too long ago and I posted a video about that you can check my channel for that but it's it's growing well and I know they hate being disturbed and moved so I just wanted to get it in the ground it's been hardening outside for a few weeks few days now I think at least couple of weeks and and it's I think ready to go so I planted it there and I hope it catches and it does well and I also moved the gold flame honeysuckle over on this side a little bit and I had to cut back quite a bit of its growth because it is very um, it was very much entangled in the fence so it's a good good thing that I moved it now so that I at least now it can settle in its um, 
final destination and just grow and I'm hoping it covers this this fence uh, really nicely um, and so yeah so I got these things on the ground and they're looking really good it's been raining and, and, and damp so I haven't watered them too much I don't want them to sit in soggy soil for that long but they're looking good and uh, just you know wanted to share this video with you I'm so excited about these purple uh, roses it's really nice that this is kind of turned into a Cordes corner for me here with these four Cordes roses. I'm excited to see what they do. Um, and uh, let me know in comments if you have any of these roses and what you love about them. Uh, do you, uh, do you, um, you know, are they the co are the colors the way, uh, you know, the pictures indicate and show? Like, I would love to hear from you in comments if you have these roses and I will share with you how these roses do as the season progresses. It's really early spring here and things are just starting to wake up and leaf out and so it's really nice to get some new roses in the um, ground. I love roses. It's one of my favorite blooms and I just absolutely love adding them to my garden. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next video. I hope everyone is having a fabulous gardening day wherever you're joining me from. Thank you so much for watching. God, Ollie's having so much fun in the snow. It's so nice to see. <laughs> he loves to dig so that's what he's doing. <laughs>